professor of clinical pathology, critical care department in Cairo University, and also one of the board members of Cardio Alex. Yes. Yes. How are you, doctor? Fine, thank you. Um, uh, how do you see what's new in Cardio Alex this year? Um, actually, every year we are confronted by a very new subject, a new uh, highlight on new implementation even in research rather than even to to begin to be implemented but actually it opens a lot of, uh, of items to go through to make more update because you know now nowadays the update is so quick that we cannot even uh, yani do it in a very proper time uh, the update uh, this uh, in cardio alex it was in all and several uh, uh, issues regarding the electrophysiology, regarding the, the intervention, and even regarding of the basic science. I was one of the persons that attended uh, especially the basic science, and it was really amazing this time. Okay, um, what do you think about the presentations that you know that you have been attending? Uh, what's your opinion? You know, I attended a lot of presentation, but I think that the whole um, condition is uh, going towards uh, prevention. And I think that this is really the core of the new uh, uh, trend, and this will be really dramatic, and it will bring a lot of good health for all people. Prevention is very important, because until we wait, until we are a little bit uh, uh, not having the proper uh, condition, we are having a lot of medication, we are having a lot of complications. So why not to prevent before getting the disease? This is, I think, the core that will be directed for the whole future. Uh, the screening of people by genetic assays, the screening of people by new uh, devices that are very, very simple and get very good information for the patient before getting the disease. So why not to get through this before having the problem of having the disease and the complications? I think all doctors, all physicians, all professors in every uh, uh, department should focus on this because this will really bring a lot of good health for the people and less cost for the, for the government to pay for the people. Uh, what's new in the field of yes. cardiology um, and protection? Uh, the new is, uh, uh, for example, we have very chronic uh, risk factors that are very eminent, especially in Egypt, like hyperlipidemia, like diabetes, like hypertension. These are most of the, of the problems that are present, and really they are having a lot of complications of cardiovascular diseases in general and stroke. And now there are new trends and new genetic uh, screening tests that you can do for familial. Mm -hmm. yani whenever we find that a person has this disease, we should search for his family. Yes. Uh, instead of they grow and then get the disease to see if they have genetic uh, 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 upload for, for, their, for this disease in them and to begin the treatment as early as possible so that we don't get disease. Mm -hmm. And this is, they, they now they have a very good techniques that we can go and perform it. And, and, and really, it will be, um, after a certain time, you will see the, the, the implication of this. And also, um, not only this, also the prediction of cardiac disease. People that have already a familial history that a lot of people are dying because of cardiac disease. They should search for. I'm not going to, sit, to wait until the whole generation comes up. We have to search early, even in the during eight years, seven years, for hyperlipidemia, because there is familial hyperlipidemia that ends up into atherosclerosis and ends up into cardiovascular disease. So everything we should search for if we have genetic, especially genetic uh, uh, family having this occurring, to begin by the family and then to have a screening test for everybody to screen out like what we did in the National Hypertension Project. I was honored to be one of them and we screened out people for hypertension. 85% didn't know that they have hypertension. So when they knew, of course they were treated before the complications come up. Thanks a lot, Doctor. Thank you, Thank my you. dear. Thank you so much.